Hello again. I'm Rod Murphy, author of Stopping Abortions at Death's Door and director of Problem Pregnancy, a Worcester, Massachusetts Pregnancy Resource Center. The invisibility of abortion. One thing that stands out to thoughtful ab observers of the current status of abortion in the Western world is its invisibility. In Europe particularly, to discuss it openly among friends seems to be a taboo. Here in the States, because of determined and continuing public relations work of religious folks, it is a little more visible. But when a baby is killed at an abortionist's office, the public does not see it. She is contained within her mother and the slaughter goes on internally and therefore invisibly. Most abortions are done surgically, but a growing number of women are choosing medication abortions. In other words, the baby is killed by the mother taking feticide pills and the dead baby will then be voided later at home, often into an, a toilet, horrifying but still invisible to the public. So the consciences of Americans are not tweaked by the 1.2 million American babies aborted every year because the general public doesn't know about it. There's a blackout going on. TV broadcasts, newspapers, magazines, and movies sometimes peripherally mention abortion, but never show it or describe the cutting up and vacuuming out of baby parts, which is what actually happens during an abortion. The public never sees any evidence of this massacre unless they drive by an abortion facility and see pro-life signs carried by stalwart praying pro-lifers. Abortion differs from other major social ills such as pornography or divorce because of its invisibility. Abortion takes place behind closed doors and is hushed in public. As in the case of slavery, ending the terrible injustice of abortion relies mainly on the courage and willingness of persons and institutions not directly involved in abortion to speak out and then act. What are you doing to make abortion more visible? Thanks. I'm Rod Murphy for Catholic TV Lifelines.